This is KHQA News at 5. It's your news now. Good evening, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for KHQA News at 5. I'm Raja Maples. And I'm Bo Hicks. And hello there, stranger. Yes, welcome back. Thank you so much. I have been on a wonderful vacation with holiday vacations uh, for 13 days in Alaska. You've seen the ads about it. Uh, few months ago, but we had a great group of people show up for that trip and we uh, got to see Mount McKinley. Very neat. Uh, yes, we were very lucky because you only have a 30% chance. That's what I've heard. Yeah, usually it. it's obstructed by cloud cover or something because it right. creates its own weather. That's right. Yeah. And uh, we had a great time. It's a lot cooler there. Uh -huh. So I brought the cooler weather back with me. There you go. <laughs> and we appreciate it. You've actually nope. missed some great feeling weather here in the tri-states uh, as well. Oh, well, I, I probably experienced there in Alaska. It was quite cool. Very neat. Maybe we'll see some pictures at some point. I would love that. I'll put that together. Oh. You know, um, that 91 degree temperature, I recognize that, but I like these cooler temperatures. Maybe Mother Nature's confused. Yeah, maybe so. You know, that's got to look a lot different than it did before you left. <laughs> it did. It was 100 degree temperatures every day. <laughs> that's right. We'll take this any day. <laughs> any day. All right. <laughs> if we just get some of that rain, we'll be perfectly happy. You bet. All right. Thanks, Bo. Well, did you miss me while I was gone, Stephen? I did indeed, Roger. Did you notice I, I was gone? I did indeed, Roger. <laughs> I did indeed. Let's see. Was, was that right? I did indeed. Yes, yes. I did indeed. Good answer. <laughs> he has to work with me every day. But yes, I was gone for 13 days, the longest That's time right. I have ever been away from home. Um, went to Alaska for with 41 people from the tri-states on holiday vacations. You probably saw some of those ads airing early last winter. Well, we booked up and we had such a great time. And I want to thank the 41 people whom I traveled with because you were a great group and, you know, traveling with a lot of people, everyone has to get along to some extent. I would think so, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we did, we did. In fact, we were traveling alongside a a bus from Michigan, the state mm -hmm. of Michigan, and there were four people with their cranky pants on. And so uh, that did not make the travelers happy. I'm but sure. if we can, I'd love to show some of the pictures because I know a lot of people took some beautiful pictures. So Lily, can we show those pictures from the computer of uh, some of my uh, my images that I captured from? Oh, Alaska. look at that. There we go. So I want to go through some of these photos because I know a lot of the people in the group said, oh, show these on television. Well, a lot of wildlife in in Alaska. I know you can see bald eagles right here in the tri-states. Mm -hmm, right. And but this is an injured one in oh. Juneau. And so, if we can go along to the second one, um, the Iditarod Trail is big in Alaska. That's where they have huskies pull people, and it's a race. It's a right. big time race. Mm -hmm. um, Susan Batch, or I believe that's her last her last name. She was big into the Iditarod. She passed away from cancer a couple of years ago, but we got to get on an Iditarod uh, sled and have huskies pull us. So that's a picture and a very cute couple from Hannibal. This is Leora and Harry Graves of oh, Hannibal. Nice. Um, we saw a lot of glaciers in Alaska, and I believe this is through Denali National Park, I believe. We went and there are the huskies that pulled us along on the Iditarod Trail. Um, a ram. Mm. <laughs> we were very lucky that we got to see a lot of wildlife in Alaska in a Denali National Park. It was an eight to nine hour bus tour. So uh, a ram just walked right up to our school bus. Beautiful, beautiful scenery. It's a whole different wow, world in Alaska. And this is our tour director. We got to pan for gold and I found about $42 worth of gold, little flakes straight from the earth. Did they let you keep it? They did. Oh, well, there you go. They okay. did. I'm yeah. going to <laughs> sell it here in Quincy. <laughs> this comes from Alaska. The Inuit is the um, current PC word for Eskimo. Right. And so basically we learned a lot about their culture and they live straight from the earth. A mm. lot of um, hunting animals and using their fur to stay warm. Right. So a lot of learning about that. Salmon is huge in Alaska. Wow. And so you go to lots of restaurants named Alaska Salmon Bake where they just fry it right up there for you. And reindeer, there's a North Pole, Alaska next to Fairbanks. Okay. They capitalize on this. This is where Santa Claus sends his letters to good boys and girls across okay. the world. They even have reindeer, they have Santa's house and, and everything. Now, this is the Trans-Alaska Oil Pipeline and mm -hmm. Alaskans have it good. They have no sales tax. Mm. They have no income tax. Right. And the oil companies pay them to live there. So really? th yes, this is a wow. pipeline going through the whole state of Alaska. And this wow. is it as well. Um, right here, I was very happy to get back into Alaska because we were in the Yukon Territory, Canada, where 
Mm, not so much civilization is there. <laughs> there was okay. no television, no cell phone service, no telephone, and this is the line. There's a bench with a line right in the middle of this, so you can sit on Alaska side or Yukon territory. But anyway, I have written up, this is a bear. Oh. You have to be careful in Alaska I because it was a moose. Okay. it's wildlife. Yeah, they'll attack <laughs> you. This is the bus that we traveled on. This is, um, I believe, Skagway. It's a whole different culture up there in Alaska, so I'd like to encourage you to log on to connecttristates.com and read about our trip. Thank you to the group. It was wonderful. Had a great time. Beautiful images and a trip of a lifetime. All right, sounds good. Well, you can't beat that. We'll be right back after this. Holland America's Volendam cruise ship rescued 70 tourists Sunday from their ailing sightseeing boat in Alaska's Glacier Bay. Now, the Volendam is the same ship that I was on just a couple of weeks ago, along with 41 other tri-state residents. According to the Daily Mail, the Baratnoff wind, believed to have been in the course of an eight-hour tour, hit a rock in the Glacier Bay at around 11 a.m. and began taking on water. The boat's captain had apparently been trying to get closer to shore to see brown bears. A spokesman for the U.S. Coast Guard told Alaska Dispatch that the rescue operation involved a National Park Service boat, a Coast Guard cutter and helicopter, and some good Samaritans. Seventy of the passengers were transferred to the Volendam. Two went aboard a Park Service boat, and four crew members stayed behind with a Baranoff wind. According to Reuters, the boat was stabilized after the accident, and there were no immediate signs of spills or other pollution. Just a couple more weeks, Raja, and think of the adventure you would have had.